Annette Elizabeth Yule was born on October 7, 1948, and passed away on August 31, 2021. Anne was born in Paonia, Colorado. She graduated Bloomfield High School in Bloomfield, New Mexico. She was the wife of Reverend John C. Yule Sr., and they shared 53 years of marriage together. She co-pastored with her husband for 44 years at First Pentecostal Holiness Church in Bartlesville, Oklahoma, and in New Life Worship Center, also known as the Crown Center in Oklahoma City. Anne was a prayer pastor at these churches. She was a member of New Life Church in South Oklahoma City. She was also a member of the Heartland Conference and served as the World Intercession Network Director for 22 years. She enjoyed her family more than anything else on this earth. She loved to pray for people and encourage them in the Lord. She was a great exhorter and an inspiration to all who knew her. Anne enjoyed flowers at home, especially sunflowers. She was fond of cardinals. Each cardinal she saw, she believed God was saying, I am always with you. She will be remembered for her deep love and affection for her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, her genuine love and grace expressed to others, and her deep commitment to prayer and intercession. The Heartland Conference honors the life and memory of Mrs. Ann Yule. Jerry Wilburn Osment was born on September 11, 1947, and passed away on November 21, 2021. He married Mary Frances Bernard on March 19, 1966. They were married for over 55 years. Jerry's life of service began when he answered God's call at age 15 and received his exhorter's ministerial license at age 16. He was ordained when he was 18 and was given his first church, which was about to close, having only one member left. He took the assignment saying he could not do anything that would hurt. When he left the church, it had over 50 members. This was to set the pattern for his life. He planted three churches and revitalized others. He and Mary awoke each day looking for someone who needed help, asking God to use them in the service of his kingdom. All his life he preached the saving grace of Jesus. During his over 55 years of active ministry, he touched countless lives. This did not change with retirement. Wherever their home was established, the door was open and the presence of God filled the place. His children were taught to sing and to serve others. He and Mary created a loving family that is blessed by their examples. Children who are now parents and grandparents who continue to pass on the love of God to everyone they encounter. He could not have given them a greater gift. He also adored and thoroughly enjoyed his grandchildren and great-grandchildren. The Heartland Conference honors the life and memory of Reverend Jerry Osment. Daniel T. Bias was born on May 13, 1930, and passed away February 3, 2022. Reverend Dan Bias was a loving husband to his late wife Ruth, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, and Navy veteran who served in the U.S. Navy and the Air Force, and was discharged from the military in 1968. He was a devoted servant of Christ who served in the ministry for many years in the International Pentecostal Holiness Church. His pastorates included congregations in California, Washington, Alaska, where he served as superintendent, and Oklahoma. During his retirement years, he moved to Spotsylvania, Virginia, to be near his children, and where he continued to provide pastoral care in his church. In addition to shepherding the flock, he enjoyed playing the violin for worship as he and Ruth both served on the music team at Life Point Church in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Dan had 19 grandchildren and 21 great-grandchildren. The Heartland Conference honors the life and memory of Reverend Dan Bias. Terry E. Walburn was born November 16, 1937, and passed away February 20, 2022. Reverend Walburn was born in Hutchison, Kansas, and was raised in Arlington, Kansas, where he attended school until he enlisted in the Navy at age 18. He was stationed at Norfolk, Virginia Naval Base on the ship, USS Everglades. As a young man, Terry loved cars and driving fast. His favorite car was a 1935 Ford Coupe. He also loved boxing. He began training for the Golden Gloves in Larna, Kansas, and even boxed in the convention hall in Hutchison, Kansas. He was also a boxer in the Navy. 
While in the Navy, Terry became addicted to alcohol. Many times he prayed and asked God to give him a good wife that would raise their children in church. Upon his honorable discharge from the Navy, he was unable to stop drinking, but God remembered his prayers. God brought a fine Christian girl named Dora into Terry's life. She prayed for him and took him to church where he was saved, delivered, and called into the ministry. While working on getting his credentials, Terry and Dora pastored a small church in Caney, Kansas. It consisted of three or four elderly people and four children. They were there four and a half years. They also pastored in Ponca City, Oklahoma, Kingfisher, Oklahoma, and Abundant Life Temple in Eden, Oklahoma. He and Dora were married for 63 years. The Heartland Conference honors the life and memory of Reverend Terry Walburn. Elvio Canavasio went to be with his Lord and Savior on March 3, 2022, his 91st birthday. He was born on March 3, 1931 in Leones, Argentina to Domingo and Dominga Canavasio. When he was five years old, his mother sat him on the bed and said to God, I don't have much, but I give you Elvio. This humble gift and consecration would result in countless lives coming to Christ throughout a ministry which spanned more than 65 years. At the age of 15, Elvio gave his heart to the Lord and a couple of years later attended Bible school in Buenos Aires. There he fell in love with the missionary's daughter, Emma Anderson. Since her father would not let them marry before he had an education, Elvio decided to attend Holmes Bible College and off he went with no money in his pocket and not a speaking word of English. In 1957, upon his graduation from Holmes, Elvio returned to Argentina and married Emma. Together they pastored churches and traveled with a revival tent going from city to city evangelizing. In Argentina, Elvio and Emma raised their two children, Esther and David. Eventually they became United States citizens and were ordained as full-time missionaries with the Pentecostal Holiness Church. In 1974, Elvio became the supervisor for all of the Latin America and Caribbean work. It was then that the family moved to Oklahoma City, and from there he continued traveling to all the nations under his care. In 1978, Elvio, Emma, and David moved to Costa Rica, and just nine years later, Emma passed away from cancer. Then when all seemed lost, God proved himself faithful again, as Elvio fell in love with and married longtime missionary June Carter. Together they continued working throughout Latin America until their retirement in 2001. But retirement was not the end as they settled in South Carolina and began a timely and successful ministry with the growing Hispanic community there, which included teaching in the INE Hispanic Institute. Elvio's life was marked by a fervent passion to reach the lost. The Heartland Conference honors the life and ministry of Reverend Elvio Canavasio.